It's been about 26 years since Chevrolet sold a passenger diesel car in the United States. But GM's Bowtie brand is aiming to break that streak later this year with the 2014 Chevrolet Cruze diesel sitting beside me. It's powered by a 2-liter turbo diesel engine and gets about 42 miles per gallon on the highway, or at least that's what the brand is estimating so far. That's the same amount as Chevrolet's Cruze Eco gasoline car, but this is slotted at a different market. Unlike the gasoline car, this version offers 258 foot-pounds of torque almost off the line. That figure boosts all the way up to 280 foot-pounds with the overboost function. Of course, that only lasts for about 10 seconds, but GM promises that it'll help the acceleration considerably. There isn't a whole lot about the exterior styling to tell the Cruise diesel apart from its gasoline siblings. In fact, really all you get is the diesel badging on the back. That's not necessarily a bad thing though, and Chevrolet tells us that it's really not aiming to convert gasoline drivers, at least not at first. Instead, it's aiming directly at current diesel drivers, specifically people who drive the Jetta TDI from Volkswagen. It remains to be seen whether or not that's going to be a viable business plan though, for one reason above all else. The Cruze diesel comes with a conventional six-speed automatic transmission, and that stands in stark contrast to the dual-clutch six-speed model that Volkswagen offers on its Jetta. Faster shifts with the Volkswagen's transmission might well keep customers in their place, but Chevrolet is confident that they'll be able to steal some sales. Pricing for the Cruze diesel comes in at about $26,000. Now that's about $1,800 more than the Jetta TDI, but that'll be giving you the Volkswagen with a manual, not an automatic. On top of that, Chevrolet is only offering this car in the 2LT trim, which is much nicer than the base car, and another thing that the brand says they're very confident will be able to compete with Volkswagen's venerable interior quality. Deliveries are expected to start in May with a limited rollout through 13 key diesel markets before about a two month waiting period where we'll see the overall national rollout and the Cruze diesel get a chance to compete against the Volkswagens and the other diesels on the market to see if it can really prove its mettle.